minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. And liftoff of Falcon 9. Go SpaceX, go SDA. Chamber pressures are nominal. At T plus 30 seconds and counting, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Slick 4E at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. We've got a great view of the rocket today. In case you are just joining us, this is the Space Development Agency's Tranche 1 mission, and we just had an on-time liftoff today. Power and telemetry nominal. Nominal liftoff today at 4.06 p.m. Pacific time. Coming up next, the vehicle will be passing through Max-Q, which is the point in the mission profile where the vehicle, vehicle experiences... Vehicle supersonic. Max-Q is the point in the mission profile where the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of aerodynamic pressure. Max-Q. Falcon 9 has now passed through that period of Max-Q. So coming up next, we'll have several events happening in quick succession, starting with MECO, then stage separation, then SES-1. Main engine cutoff, or MECO, is where all nine Merlin 1D engines shut down to slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation, which is where the first stage separates from the second chill. stage. Following this, the MBAC engine on the second stage will light, which is called out as second engine start, or SES-1. This engine burn will last for several minutes and propel the second stage and the payload to orbit. In addition to these major events, the fairing halves will separate about 30 seconds after SES-1. And as a reminder, we will not have any views of Falcon 9 second stage or the payload today at the request of our customer. So we should be coming up on Miko in 15 seconds here. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. I'm back, start up. And there's that series of back to back callouts there, which again were Miko, stage separation, and SES 1. Coming up shortly, we should hear a call out for fairing separation. But as a reminder, we would not be showing it on screen today. Both payload fairing halves supporting today's mission are also flight proven, with one half flying for its fourth time today and the other for its third. As a reminder, today we are delivering to orbit 21 satellites provided by Lockheed Martin. Fairing separation confirmed. There's that confirmation of the fairing separation. As mentioned earlier, we will be attempting to retrieve these fairing halves again once they fall back to Earth with our West Coast recovery vessel, Go Beyond. Today is SpaceX's second Tranche 1 mission this year for the Space Development Agency. Our first Tranche 1 mission successfully launched on Wednesday, September 10th at 7.12 a.m. Pacific Time from Space Launch Complex 4 East, which is the same launch complex we use today at Vandenberg Space Force Base. The Space Development Agency's mesh network of optically connected satellites is primarily focused on tactical data delivery to warfighters, tracking and targeting for advanced missile threats, and beyond line of sight targeting for time sensitive or mobile targets. We're currently just over 4 minutes and 10 seconds into today's mission. The next major milestone coming up in about 3 minutes will be the entry burn of the Falcon 9 booster as it continues on its journey towards our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, stationed in the Pacific. To start the entry burn, we will relight three of our M1D engines, which is similar to pumping the brakes to slow down the vehicle as it passes back into the Earth's atmosphere. We need to slow down the vehicle to reduce re-entry forces, which then helps us recover and reuse the first stage.
If you're just joining us today, we are delivering to orbit 21 satellites provided by Lockheed Martin for the data transport layer of the proliferated warfighter space architecture. The data transport function delivers tactical data to warfighters wherever they are in the world. These 21 satellites are the second of 10 satellite planes that make up the first tranche of warfighter capability. The tranche one constellation serves as the initial warfighting capability for the proliferated warfighter space architecture and provides regional persistent access to warfighters on land, at sea, and in the air for communications supporting advanced missile warning and missile tracking and beyond line of sight targeting. When fully deployed, Tranche 1 will consist of 154 operational space vehicles, plus four missile defense demonstration space vehicles. Coming up next, we'll have the pre-entry burn, followed by the landing burn. At this point, we're about 30 seconds away from the beginning of the entry burn, and you should be able to see the graphics on the bottom of your screen light up as the engines do. Another 15 seconds here until that entry burn begins. Stage one FTS has saved. Nice call out there. Stage one entry burn startup. And there's the call out for the entry burn starting up on the Falcon 9 first stage. This burn is set to last about 25 seconds and again is slowing down the vehicle in preparation for its final burn and landing. Stage one entry burn shutdown. There's that call out for entry burn shutdown, which marks the completion of the Falcon 9 first stage entry burn. Coming up next will be the first stage landing burn, which will start a little over a minute from now. The Merlins on the Falcon first stage are optimized for sea level, and these achieve 190,000 pounds of thrust each during ascent and descent. At liftoff, Falcon's first stage has thrust greater than five 747 airplanes at full power. The single MVAC engine on the second stage has a much wider nozzle and is optimized to operate in space, producing over 220,000 pounds of thrust in vacuum. Stage one transonic. Stage two terminal guidance. Coming up next, we'll have the start of the landing burn of the first stage. The landing burn is the final burn of the Falcon 9 booster, and it's used to reduce the remaining speed of the vehicle for a gentle and precise landing on our drone ship. Of course, I still Stage love you. Stage 2 FTS has saved. We should be hearing that call out for the first stage landing burn in a few moments from now. Stage 1 landing burn. And there's that call out. This is the final burn that this booster will see before landing. Landing light deploy. I'm back shut down. Stage one landing confirmed. Some awesome views there of the grid fins on our way down. And that marks another successful landing of our Falcon 9 rocket. This